What's up YouTube, Brian here, back again with another video. Today, it's the end of August, so we got our freshly arrived JDM Bento box. So if you guys aren't familiar, the Hookup Tackle has this like exclusive VIP bait of the month box club uh, that I've been a member of since it started. And today is the un August unboxing. We're getting towards the end of the summer here in Minnesota. We got still got plenty of good summer weather left. Uh, fall is right around the corner, which kind of sucks. But hey, this fishing season for me has been great. Uh, I've just gotten out a lot. Fishing has been pretty good overall. I bounce between Northwest Wisconsin and in Minnesota. And in the fall, we, me and my friends like to push up to Northern Minnesota and go hunting for smallmouth. So we got some trips planned, uh, a big trip planned later this fall to go to Woman Lake, uh, which is apparently a, a big smallmouth factory for like giant fish. Anyway, point is, I'm getting excited. Uh, I want to do something differently with the box this month. I think I'm going to actually attempt a slam. So as we open these baits, I'm going to decide, am I going to go hit a large mouth lake or a small mouth lake? And I actually want you, the viewer, leave some comments down below. If you think whatever baits are in this box, I should go hit a large mouth lake and do a large mouth slam with this or go to a small mouth lake and do a small mouth slam with this. I'm going to get some feedback from the audience. I have options. I have some really good large mouth lakes. I have some really good small mouth lakes. I have some lakes that have both. Um, but anyway, point is, uh, let me know which species you think I should really target with the contents of this box. Uh, so actually, I have a bonus box too as well. I have another box from Hookup Tackle that I ordered. So we'll open this second. So we've got a bonus box after I do the, after I do the JDM Bento box. We're going to check this out. A couple goodies in here. Um, anyway, so stay tuned. For that all right uh as usual today i'm using my supreme uh hype beast pocket knife um i did get spoiled on the uh 110 and the uh, pop max in this month's box and it is sick really really big fan of this um so stay tuned because this is a cool one uh anyway so we're gonna pop this bad boy open. I did it the right side this time. We got a card on the top from Ben and the team over at Hookup Tackle. Ooh, got a little grease coming out of the side here. That must mean maybe there's something in here with some scent or an oily box or oily plastics of some kind. All right, so we got the card. Uh, the card reads, this month it's just talking about the uh, 110 and Pop Max. We'll, we'll, we'll save this until we get to that bait. So here we go. What's in the top this month? We got a spinnerbait. We have a spinnerbait from Bottoms Up, or Bottom Up. Uh, I believe this is a newer brand to the Hookup Tackle. This is called the Beeble, and it's in 3 Ace. I like throwing 3 Ace. I throw 3 Ace and a half, uh, like most people with spinnerbaits. 3 Ace is a great shallow water um, bait. What's interesting about this, um, about this spinnerbait that I'm noticing right off the bat is it's got a interesting piece of hardware on it that you don't normally see with spinnerbaits. Uh, let me see if I can get this thing open. We'll take a quick look and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I've been throwing spinnerbait. I love throwing spinnerbaits. I throw it on the, the Deimos is a great spinnerbait rod, the Javelin, uh, the uh, X-Pride 7.2 Medium Heavy is a good spinnerbait rod, the uh, Mad Bull obviously is a great spinnerbait rod. There's a lot of good rods to throw spinnerbaits on. You don't have to think about it too hard. Just want a little bit of flex in the rod. But anyway, so this Beeble has this interesting blade. It looks like it's cupped, so it's going to catch some water. I'm really interested to see what the action is on this bait, considering it, oh, it's got a, it's got a matte. Look, at it, it's got a matte finish silver blade. A sh like, so there's two willow blades here. Uh, one is shiny gold, and the other one is a matte finish, which is uh, interesting. And you got this weird little cupped blade right here. So I'm guessing this thing has a lot of side-to-side -side wiggle. Uh, the hook on this thing is pretty small. I will say this is definitely more of a like finesse JDM style spinnerbaits. I don't know if you guys noticed, but JDM spinnerbaits are uh, in Japan. They throw spinnerbaits on very parabolic bendy rods, not so much like here in the U.S. So their spinnerbaits are typically a little lighter wire, lighter hooks. So when you're throwing spinnerbaits like this, and I've learned this the hard way in the past, when you're throwing these kind of JDM spinnerbaits, you really do need to use a slightly softer rod. If you're throwing it on your rod that you normally throw your war eagles and like your normal kind of really thick wire um, spinnerbaits, it's going to bend the crap out of these things typically. Uh, I think in the U.S., out in Japan, they don't have pike. And pike smash the crap out of these things. So when I use these uh, lighter wire JDM spinnerbaits, sometimes the pike 
really mangle this thing. Even small pike, because they hit it and they thrash and they go all crazy. So northern pike are not super friendly to light wire spinnerbaits in my neck of the woods, but this would definitely be good for smallmouth. So I might save this spinnerbait for fishing smallmouth waters because it's a little smaller profile. Looks like a lot of, got a lot of action. So anyway, let's let's keep in mind if we should go for largemouth or smallmouth as we go through this box. So to me, this is leaning smallmouth, but we'll see. I'm gonna let you guys give some input, leave some comments. All right, so we got a pretty cool JDM Lightwire spinnerbait, the Beeble from bottom up. I like that, cool bait. All right, we got plastics. We have some OSP's Doe Live Crawlers. Okay, and this is in a, ooh, this is in a cool color. So if you guys don't know, this is kind of a really good um, drop shot bait. Uh, maybe even like a finesse, uh, yeah, this is definitely a drop shot bait. So it's your typical ribbed worm. This looks like it's bl half black and blue, half green pumpkin. Don't know the color because OSP, the colors are all in Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a nice drop shot bait. Uh, if you really want to, you could probably put this on a shaky head, like a smaller, maybe more finessey shaky head. Uh, but yeah, de definitely, definitely a drop shot kind of um, bait. These are super slimy, super salted. Uh, these are kind of expensive. These are like 10 bucks a pack. I mean, all the OSP stuff from Hookup Tackle is like 10 bucks a pack. So, oh, that's definitely where the grease was coming from or the oil was coming from on the box. These things are super greasy. Um, anyway, very cool. I love drop shotting. Uh, I busted my Landsat uh, on a fish. That, if you guys don't follow me on the Instagrams, I highly suggest it. But my Mega Bass P5 uh, Landsat snapped uh, fighting like a 1 in 1.7 pound smallmouth this last weekend. It kind of bummed me out. So... I'm gonna be using my uh, whip snake for the rest of the fall until I can figure out a replacement for the Landsat. So, all right, we got some, we got drop shot bait, got spinner bait. Let's keep going. Ooh, I feel more soft plastics, slimy. What is this? The Rodeo, R-O-D-I-O, -O, Rodeo Craft Japan, the RC Fat Stick. I'm guessing I'm probably saying that wrong, R-O-D-I-O, -O, but Rodeo is, that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, this is an interesting bait. This looks like a Ned bait. RC Fat Stick. We're going to take one out of the package uh, just to take a look at it. Maybe you guys can help me figure out what the heck this is for. Seems to me like a Ned bait. Um, let's take a peek. Ooh, interesting. So this is, uh, this bait is got a, keel, a keeled flat. Oh, this is like kind of a goby looking thing right here. We don't have gobies in Minnesota or Wisconsin, but this is definitely a goby style bait. So if you notice, it's 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 flat. So it sits kind of flat. I don't know. That's interesting. I could picture free rigging this. Like my brain is immediately going into a free rig. So I think throwing this behind a free rig, uh, maybe nose hooking it for a drop shot, or even throwing it on a Ned head. To me, this box is definitely leaning smallmouth. Just saying. <laughs> We got a free rig bait, we got a drop shot rate, we got a kind of a finesse spinner bait. So right now, unless I see something dramatically different coming out of the box, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we need to go on a smallmouth mission with these. All right, let me feel, there's one, two, ooh, there's more, there's like more stuff in here. This box is flush, okay. Uh, all right, we got a little Lucky Craft. Uh, we got a very small lipless. This is the TN, no, the LVRT45 sinking Japan craw. So this is a finesse little teeny lipless. Now I don't even throw big size lipless, so I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with this thing. But uh, yeah, this is interesting. Little tiny, little tiny lipless. I don't know what the heck to do with these. These things are obviously, oh, so it's a quarter ounce. It's actually a little heavier than I thought. So quarter ounce is definitely, you could throw this on regular spinning gear. Throw a lot of stuff, I throw a lot of quarter ounce baits on spinning gear, so anyway. Yeah, this would, I, I think I could catch a small amount with this. Um, it looks like we got, oh, we got another, we got another bait. This box has got a lot of stuff this uh, this month. The Drag Metal Cast. Okay, we got a spoon. Uh, so this is by, oh, this is a Dual Reality spoon. I've seen these before. Um, I don't know much about them. I think this is maybe like a salt bait. So Drag Metal Cast Duo. I don't really know. I don't fish this kind of bait. I don't really fish spoons too much, but let's take a look. Oh gosh, yeah, this is a smallmouth bait. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so we got a definitely got a jigging spoon, 
man, you could probably catch some walleyes with this thing too. This thing's pretty heavy. Uh, I don't know what the weight is, 20 grams. So yeah, this thing, this thing's got some heft to it. Uh, I think throwing this and, and bouncing this around rock piles, uh, probably gonna get caught up quite a bit, but man, I think I could definitely get bit off of this thing. Uh, this is pretty cool. Looks like a, looks like a minnow. This looks like a lot of the forage up here in Minnesota is guns in a lot of like, you know, it's kind of, kind of a typical, uh, a typical minnow up here. Um, cool. I, I'm not mad at these baits. Uh, I don't throw these, so I guess I get to try. Um, so we got that. Okay. Main event, the pop max and the, uh, and the, uh, 110. That's it for the box. This color is really cool. This is a color that has been in Mega Bass crankbaits in the past, and it is called SB Sunset Tequila. I'm gonna show you what makes this bait special in a second. I'm gonna take it out of the box, but let's read the card from Ben. We know we've had some crazy colors the past couple months, but before I tone it back down a little, I wanted to bring a color that I consider to be both natural and crazy and super rare, the SB Sunset Tequila. The fun, this, this is a fun color pattern that is going to wreck smallmouth and clear water largemouth and is going to rock collectors' minds. Rock our minds. The subtle pinks and purples on the back give way to rainbow colors underneath. SB colors are so cool. I hope you enjoy. So these things have kind of a hidden trick. I'm going to show you guys uh, what, these things are, uh, what these things are like. So... The SB Tequila Shad. Uh, I've never seen this bait in a 110. I've seen it in some crankbaits in the past from Mega Bass, but it's super, it's very, very trans, translucent. You got purple in the front. You got some chartreuse on the back, but watch this. Zoop, look at that. You got a rainbow of colors going on underneath. There's chartreuse, yellow, orange, and pink. You got four colors under the belly. So that's where that SB comes in. You got that underbelly flash of colors. This is so dope. I actually, if, if I'm doing a slam and I'm throwing these baits and I lose this one, I'm gonna be extremely sad. I think this is just a sick, sick bait. Definitely, uh, definitely gonna catch a fish though. The Pop Max, I bet you, is even cooler. So let's dive into this one real quick because this is, you're really gonna see the colors underneath on this bad boy. So you got your purple, uh, the chartreuse is not as irrelevant or uh, as prevalent on this one, but you got that frost on the top. But then check this out. Boom. You got a pride flag going on underneath the uh, the belly. That is so cool. I love that. Reminds me, it's like a popsicle going on or Skittles or whatever you want to say. It's just, it's that's cool. A lot of cool colors going on. This is a sick bait. Um I'm thinking smallmouth is this box. If you guys agree with me, leave a comment down in the video if you think I should go and try to wreck some smallies on all these baits. I'm going to try and do a slam. Basically, go out on a lake, try and catch one fish with each one of these baits, see if I can complete the slam. I did mention this to Ben at Hookup Tackle, and he's down with the idea. And uh, I challenged him to come up with some kind of prize, some kind of thing he can uh, present or give to me if I can complete the slam. Because... I don't think on YouTube, no one has attempted a bento box slam ever. So I want to be the first person to do it. Uh, Ben's going to play along and hopefully uh, we, we can make an entertaining video out of that coming down the line. So if you stay tuned this far in the video, we're going to pop this bad boy open. I ordered this based on uh, some baits that the Hookup Tackle dropped recently. Uh, there's a specific bait in here that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a long time. And Ben got a restock on these and you'll see it in a second. It's a frog that I've been wanting to try for years that are wasn't that easy to find. Um, and Depths just came out with a new shipment of these things. And I grabbed a bunch of colors because I just wanted to kind of load up on them. And uh, here we go. We got the Buster K's. I've been wanting Buster K's for a long time. I love popping frogs. Uh, the Buster K is kind of known as one of the best hookup ratio popping frogs of all time. However, they're just hard to find. Um, some JDM sites have them. Good luck finding these in any American shops, uh, but they're back. So when they came back, I loaded up on the colors that I need. I got two whites, two greens, and the two blacks with the pink on top. I love this depths color, the black they do. Uh, it's called visible black because that pink on the top isn't for the fish, it's for you. So you can see your frog. So I know sometimes when you launch a 
black frog out into heavy cover and you can't see it so good sometimes you, you can only see it when you move it uh, what I like about the visible black colors, you got the giant pink stripe on the top. So you can definitely pick out where the heck your frog is uh, if you make a real long cast into nasty stuff. So it's just a, it's a it's a functional addition to the color versus just kind of looking cool. So if you're not familiar with the Depths Buster K, um, it's a really soft frog. Uh, all this all the Depths frogs are really really soft. Um, it's got feathered legs instead of silicone legs. Um, got a big cupped lip. These things apparently walk really well because that cupped lip is, is actually really kind of soft and moves around a lot. So anyway, these are supposedly cool frogs. Oh, and the other cool thing about these is Depths frogs are kind of known for being really light. Like the Slither K is a really lightweight frog. This has a little bead inside of it, a little weight. So uh, you can cast this further. So you don't have to use like lighter frogging gear to fish this like you do with the Slither K. It's got that little weight transfer system. It's just a a bead or something rolling around there but makes a little noise gives a little extra casting distance so kind of cool you don't need to modify your frog um it's like that for, out of the package you don't gotta do a thing to this you just tie it up and go the other th bait i picked up and we're gonna finish it off with this one is tackle uh this is a bait that the uh, hookup tackle has been helping promote and uh, i guess tackle has been designing this thing for a long time it's called the q linker uh clinker i guess you call it clinker frog but q linker this is a frog that has a crazy uh blade system going on in the back i picked up one of these just to try it it's kind of like a buzzing frog uh i haven't actually thrown this yet just took out of the package but it's got like this two-stage blade system on the back so you got a blade and then a blade under the blade and the end result is basically a buzz bait frog um how the hookup ratio is on this going to be with that, all that metal hanging out the back, who knows? Uh, it looks really great. This is the bone color with the gold blades. I want to go throw this thing. It would be interesting to see how the durability is and how the hookup ratio is on this thing. But uh, I definitely think I can catch some, some local large mouths. I might actually go out tonight and try this bait out because it's kind of cool. So anyway, that's it for the unboxing. I'm going to do a slam. I'm really leaning towards small mouth. If you guys agree with me, leave a, a, a comment down in the video description. Um, I love this box this month. Everything is cool. Not a big fan of lipless, let alone tiny lipless. This is the only like miss in the whole box, but the rest of the stuff is fantastic. Uh, finesse spinner bait, a good drop shot bait, amazing 110 and pop max. And I got a new blade bait to try out. These definitely work in the late fall when the water gets really cold for small clothes. Sorry, when the water gets really cold for smallmouth, the blade baits are definitely a player. So I got to give this box a nine out of 10. Great job, hookup tackle. Good stuff. Big fan of it. Um, anyway, if you've made it this far in the video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned. I got more rod reviews. The Mad Bull review is like right around the corner. I'll be dropping that real soon, maybe this weekend. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and definitely hit me up on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.